Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duel, so I'm going to be doing a branded Invoke Shadal deck profile. So I'm really excited to see you guys because this deck is actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Braxton. And this deck is the ultimate fusion deck, being able to play all of the amazing fusion engines in one build. This deck is super fun just to see how many times you can fusion summon in a single turn. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name in the single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give Braxton some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Alistair the Invoker, which is our best normal summon in the entire deck. This card has an awesome normal summon effect that if this card is normal summon, you get to add invocation from your deck to your hand. We then play two copies of Shadow Windy. Shadow Windy is a definite two of in this build. Now all of your Shadow monsters share a common effect that they have a flip effect and a sent to graveyard effect, and you can only get either or per turn. You cannot get both. But this card has the ability, if this card is flipped face up, you can special summon a Shadow monster from your deck in face up or face down defense position, except another copy of this card. And if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon a Shadow monster from your deck in face down defense position except another copy of this card but you can only use either or the effect per turn and only once that turn we then play a single copy of Shadow Beast. Shadow Beast is a great card to be able to summon off your copy of Windy, because if this card is flipped face up, you draw two and then discard a card. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you get to draw a card. We then play a single copy of Shadow Dragon. Shadow Dragon is a great card to be able to fusion summon with, because if it's flipped face up, you get to target a card that your opponent control and return it back to hand. But if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you get to pop a spell or trap on the field. We then play a single copy of Squibmata. Squib Bot is basically like a foolish burial, but if it's flipped face up, you target a monster on the field and destroy it. If it's sent to the graveyard, you could send a Shadow card from your deck to the graveyard, except another copy of itself. We then play a seal copy of Hedgehog. Hedgehog is the searcher for the deck, because if it's flipped face up, you get to add a Shadow Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. If it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add a Shadow Monster from your deck to your hand, which is really an awesome effect. We then play two copies of a Luber. A Luber is a really good two of them in the deck, but we only play two copies of this card because we can summon it off of Branded Opening. But it has the ability, if this card is normal or special summon, you get to add a Branded Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. We then play two copies of Despian Tragedy. This card is an awesome two of in the deck. That if this card is sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, you get to add a Despian Monster from your deck to your hand, which is usually your copy of a Luber or Ad Libitum. But it also has the ability that you can manage this card from your graveyard and then target a branded spell or trap in your grave and set it to your field, which is really good to be able to set your copy of branded and red that you've already used or a copy of branded fusion that's in the grave. We then play a single copy of Ad Libitum. Ad Libitum is kind of like Monster Reborn if it's used for a fusion material. Because if this card is used for a fusion material and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can target one of your Despia monsters or a level 8 or higher fusion monster that's banished during your grave, except another copy of this card, and special summon it, which is a great effect. We then play two copies of Fallen of All Baz. Fallen of All Baz is really good as a two of in this deck, because this card is basically like Super Poly on legs, which is great. And also, you're going to use this card with Branded Fusion. We then play a single copy of the Light Hex Seal Fusion. The Light Hex Seal Fusion is our light target in this deck to be able to use with Branded Fusion to be able to summon out our copy of Albion. But this card is a really good one of in the deck. We then play two copies of Edge Imp Chain. Edge Imp Chain is really good to be able to work with for Right for Patchwork. Because if this card is sent from your hand or field to the grave, you get to add a for Right for card from your deck to your hand, which is always going to be for Right for Patchwork, so you can get another copy of this card and a polymerization off that effect. We then play two copies of Magnemut. Magnemut's really good because it searches a dragon during the end phase that it was summoned, and all of your Bias Steel monsters share a common effect. If you target a light or dark monster in either graveyard, banish him, and if you do, special on this card from your hand, and it's a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster, but being able to grab a dragon monster from deck or graveyard is really good. We then play a single copy of Druid Swarm to search off the copy of Magnema. And this card is really good for spot removal because if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target a special monster that your opponent controls and send it to the grave, which is a great effect. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells.
So for the spells, we're going to be playing three copies of Magical Meltdown. Magical Meltdown gives us some protection when we fusion summon, and when this card is activated, you get to add an Alistair and the Invoker from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect. But this card gives you that extra protection when you do fusion summon, which is really nice. We then play two copies of Ferrite for Patchwork. This just works with our Edgem package in this deck, and this card is the ability that you get to add an Edgem monster from your deck to your hand, and a Polymerization from your deck to your hand when this card is activated, being a plus one one, which is really nice. We then play two copies of Polymerization. I feel like two, two, and two really works really well in this deck. To be able to get two copies of Patchwork, two copies of Poly, and two copies of Chain just works extremely well for me with this build. We're then playing two copies of Invocation. Invocation at two is totally fine because you have six copies of Alistair in this deck between Meltdown and your copies of Alistair, but this card is essentially a Polymerization, which is really nice. But it also has the ability, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one of your banished Alistair the Invokers and shuffle it back in the deck. And if you do, add this card back to your hand, add that card back in your hand and shuffle this card back in the deck, which is really cool about this card. That basically you just get your Alistair back, which is really nice. But this card is a definite two of in this build, just being able to do that and get Alistair back to hand. We then play three copies of Shadow Fusion. Shadow Fusion is an amazing card in this deck because it's basically polymerization. But if your opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, you actually get to use materials from the deck to fusion summon, which is insane. This card is where it started being able to fusion from deck, and just a really awesome three on the deck to be able to summon out cards like Winda, Apocalone, and even Construct from the extra deck. We then play three copies of Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion is such a powerful card in this deck. Being able to fusion summon from deck, as long as you use a Fallen of All Baz as one of the materials, is just really, really good. And being able to summon cards like Albion or Lubellion to step into cards like Mirror Jade is just really insane. We then play a single copy of Branded and Red. This card is a really neat one over the deck that just helps you out to get this card on your side of the field off of your copy of Albion's effect. But it helps to summon Guardian Chimera during the opponent's turn which is really nice because it also lets us target a Despia monster or Fallen of Abaz in the graveyard, add it back to the hand, and then we get to fusion summon a level eight or higher fusion monster from our X deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your hand or field, but it can't attack directly. But that's totally fine with cards like Guardian Chimera, where you can get multiple pops up to one to two pops and draw one to two cards off that card's effect during the opponent's turn. It's just really good. We then play three copies of Branded Opening. Branded Opening has the ability to discard a card and then target or take Take a Despia monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it in defense, which is always going to be special summoning your copy of a Luber, so we can add either Brandon a Red or a copy of Brandon Fusion from deck to hand off this card's effect, which is really, really good. This card also gives you a little bit of protection for destroying your copies of your fusions because it has the ability that if one of your fusion monsters is going to be destroyed by card effect, you can manage this card from, from your graveyard instead to protect those fusion monsters that are on the field, which is really nice. So for example, if your car opponent Dark Holes you, or activates a regeki, you manage this card from the graveyard and protect all of them, which is really nice. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing a single trap in this deck. It's going to be one copy of Shadow Schism. Shadow Schism is extremely powerful in the deck because during the main phase, you can fusion summon one Shadow Fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing the fusion materials listed on it from your field or grave, but it can't attack directly. Then you can send to the graveyard one monster that your opponent controls with the same attribute as the fusion summon monster, which is always going to be either light or dark that you're going to be able to send to the grave because we only play a Pokemon and Window for dark and we play Construct for light in this particular build, which is just really good being able to basically miracle fuse during the opponent's turn into something like a window so that they can't special summon more than once. So that's it for the main deck guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of Shadow Winda. Shadow Winda is insanely powerful and just one of the best fusion monsters ever created because while this card is faceable in the field, neither player can special summon more than once per turn, which is insanely powerful. And it also cannot be destroyed by our opponent's card effects, which is really, really good. We then play a single copy of my favorite fusion in the game, a single copy of Shadow Construct. Construct is really good because on fusion summon, it's a foolish burial, which is insane for any of your Shadow cards, which will make all 
of them go off, which is really nice. And then it also has the ability, if this card battles an opponent's monster that was special summon, you get to destroy that monster instantly, which is insanely powerful. We then play a single copy of a Pokemon. A Pokemon's a good one of in the deck, but you only really need a single copy of a Pokemon. It cannot be destroyed by battle. And if this card is special summon, you can target one face-up monster on the field and negate its effects or it has the ability that uh, you can basically uh have the ability if this card is sent to the graveyard you can add a shadow card from your deck or graveyard to your hand and then discard a card but it's a really good effect to be able to just target any card on the field and just negate its effect upon special summon we then play two copies of mirror jade mirror jade is just an insanely powerful fusion monster overall in the entire game and it's one of the best cards currently that we have to be able to just spot remove on the field but you can only activate its effect once every other turn we then play two copies of albion albion's really really good overall in the deck because it's basically a miracle fusion on summon which is really nice for level eight or lower fusion monsters which is really good in this deck we then play a single copy of lubellion because we can put the materials back into the deck to fusion summon which is really nice we play a single copy of masquerade because every time you're the breeze they're going to take 600 points of damage which is insanely powerful it's one of my favorite cards beside construct to be able to just burn the opponent every time they activate something which is just really, really nice. This card is a definite, at least one out of the deck. I wanted to play two, but the extra deck is extremely tight, which is why I just play a single copy of this card. We then play a single copy of Quiritus. Quiritus is really nice because it can drop monsters that are not fusion down to zero attack and defense, which is extremely good in this particular deck. Two copies of Makaba because it's a walking negate, which is really good. One copy of Kaliga. Kaliga is good in this deck as well. I'm not playing Purgatrio in this build because we're not playing anything that's fire, like Ash Blossom, but this card is good because if a player if a player's monster effect attempts to activate none of that player's monsters can activate their effects for the rest of the turn while this card is face on the field and each player can only attack with one monster during each battle phase which is insanely powerful to basically dark door the opponent for monster effects and for attacks we then also play a single copy of Guardian Chimera. You have to use monsters from the hand or field to be able to summon out this card. And if you use monsters from the field, you get to pop cards on the field equal to the amount that you use. If you use cards from your hand, you get to draw that many cards that you use for fusion material, but you have to use three and you must use one from at least one from the hand, at least one from the field to summon out this card. But this card is really good to summon out with branded and red. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played something like this, it's really fun to be able to mix all these different fusion packages together to make this absolutely insane deck. So, anyways, guys, it's Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell near the scene, come part notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.